Metacognition, a video created by McGill's Teaching and Learning Services. When you study for your classes, do you ever struggle to figure out where to start? Or do you sometimes dive right in without having a plan or study goal? Have you ever considered why you're doing what you're doing when you study? Answering these questions is what metacognition is about. It can help you to be more purposeful and intentional so that you're studying to learn. What is metacognition? Metacognition is thinking about your own thinking. Or, to put it another way, it's like you have a big brain outside of your brain looking at what your brain is doing. Metacognition helps you assess your options for how to study and implement the best approach. It is taking time to figure out what you need to do, then examining your tools to determine what is the best tool for the job. For example, imagine you are baking a cake. When you need to mix ingredients together, you could use a whisk, or a spoon, or an electric mixer. The tool you select may depend on the ingredients you are mixing together, and the type of cake you're making. The same applies to studying. You can use different strategies depending on what you need to achieve. How can you use metacognition to support your learning? You can harness the power of the metacognitive process by asking yourself questions before, during, and after you study. Before you study, ask yourself, what are my goals for the study session? How am I going to reach my study goal? What strategies will I use? As you're studying, check in. Am I understanding the material? How can I test my knowledge? At the end of your study session, ask yourself, did I accomplish my study goals? If so, what worked for me? If not, what got in the way? Review with questions like, what will I change for next time? What will I do the same? Set aside time regularly for this metacognitive work to evaluate and assess how your approach is working for you. This could be a few minutes at the beginning and end of a study session to ask yourself these questions. Also, follow up by taking time at the end of each term to look back at your courses to see what went well for each subject and what you might want to change. Be open to adapting your method of study to support your learning in different contexts. A change in study behaviors will lead to a change in your performance and can lead to success in your studies.